What's up folks, SAP Dude here, thanks for checking out this video. In this one I'm gonna shed some light on SAP Signavio and its top 3 features according to my personal opinion. So let's get going. First of all, what is SAP Signavio? This is a tool which you can use to build, optimize and automate business processes in your company or for your clients. We won't talk about details such as licensing in this video. Just some small lesson of history. SAP did not create this tool. I won't tell you if it's a good news or not. <laughs> they acquired Signavio some time ago, I think two years ago or something. That was the introduction. Now moving to the main topic, the top three features. Feature number one, quick model. I found it really cool, useful and yeah, easy and satisfactory. Why? Let me show you right now. Imagine you build a business process for your client or you just want to document it by having a BPMN diagram. I will take an example of reactive maintenance from plant maintenance area in the Texas workshop. If you follow the channel, you already know the video about notifications and damage a compressor. The process is as follows. So we start with a malfunction. Then as an employee or just a technician, we create a notification to inform the department uh, about this malfunction. Then as a supervisor or maintenance planner, I can decide whether I want to approve or reject this request. So it's called screening. If so, if accepted, then as a maintenance planner, I plan the work, basically I create maintenance order for my people. The work is assigned to specific technicians and then they perform the work physically and of course confirm it in the system. And the last step is closure of the order. This is something that maintenance planner is doing. All right. Now we will use SAP Signavio and its quick model feature to build and document the process. What I do, I click this button create and hit quick model. I'm also an administrator, so I created a separate folder for myself here and I click create. All right, and now we can start doing the job. First, we will define the organization. I will rename it to Texas Workshop. Of course, I will also rename the process, let's call it Reactive Maintenance Texas Workshop. The starting point of this process is when a malfunction occurs, right? So let's enter it. The end of the process is when the, an asset equipment is repaired, so I also enter it here. I can enter more process attributes, but they are not required. Let's focus on, the, on this table below. Basically, when I start adding the steps, you will have the diagram automatically generated. So let's, let's do it. Okay, the first activity is to create maintenance notification. So I enter it in this field. Then we have next column, who. Basically, here we assign a person or a responsible role for this activity, as you see here. In my case, it can be an employee or a maintenance technician. So let's enter here, employee. And as you see, SAP Signaver recommends me some entry, in this case, employee. Why? Because there is something called dictionary. You can create such, uh, like you define all the roles in your company and you don't have to enter these roles manually or, yeah. So in my case, I select the employee. All right, then we have the column how. Here I will enter all the steps mainly done in SAP system, but now I leave it blank. What I want you to look at is the diagram preview. We already have the first task here. So our BPM diagram is automatically generated based on our entries in this table. All right, let's enter the second activity. It's, it will be screening of this maintenance notification. So let's call it screen maintenance request. And as a person responsible, it won't be an employee. We want to enter maintenance 
um, planner or yeah, supervisor. So I enter maintenance, let's see. Uh, yeah, we have planner, technician manager. Let's enter maintenance planner. And I click enter. If I scroll down, you see that the second row was also added here and we have this uh, second activity. Uh, so the BPMN is generating new tasks basically. I will speed up a bit right now and enter the rest of the activities. Okay, as you see, we have more steps than you saw on the slide. This is because I wanted to be more detailed about steps, especially when it comes to SAP. That's why we have like release maintenance order, perform the work, confirm the work, analyzing, even cost settlement, we have it here. But this one will be done by a local controller, not a guy from maintenance department. Okay, and I will now go below and we see the diagram is beautifully generated for us. So I zoom out a bit and we see that we start with an employee, then we jump to a maintenance planner, we have three steps, then we go to technician and so on. One small thing before going any further. Quick model can be only used for simple steps. Yeah, By simple steps I mean we define one by one all the things, all the activities that are relevant for our process. But when it comes to XOR gateways, for instance, we cannot enter it here in the quick model functionality. So you have this screen maintenance request step. Yeah, It means as a maintenance planner, you, can, you decide whether you want to accept or reject uh, this notification. In this case, right now in this process, we don't have these two options. Yeah, We don't see rejection and uh, option to accept the notification. No worries, I will show you how to do it, but yeah, we cannot do it directly in quick model. And now I go to this section right here and click graphical editor. And here we have our BPMN diagram, but we can edit it in more advanced ways. So you remember I was telling you something about this XOR gateway. So we want to give this possibility to reject or accept the, the maintenance request. What I will do, I will extend this area a bit. All right. And now we want to add the, this gateway. So I find it here on the left side uh, from the BPMN core elements. I click it and I drag it here. All right. I double click the gateway and I will name it let's say uh, request accepted so it will it's uh, just a question and great uh, we don't have any dictionary here and that's fine i press uh, yeah i move it like this request accepted and once accepted we move further so here i double click and i enter just yes okay uh, i will extend this section right here a bit uh, Let's do it like this, because the second option is uh, the request is not accepted. So once it's not accepted, basically this is the end of this process. So I will go to the left side and we have something like end event. I will move it here and I will just name it end. Okay, I click the XOR and uh, I click this one. All right, double click and I click no. No, uh, rejected. All right, uh, you see we upgraded, let's say, this process in this uh, editor. Okay, I save the process and uh, if I want, I can still come back to this quick model here. And voila, we have it again here, but right now 
updated with this gateway. All right, cool. What we can do now, we can switch to process collaboration hub. And here we can, as you see, we can collaborate with others. We have some comment section. Basically, you can share this process, this business process with your client and you can exchange ideas and so on directly in this platform. So without emails, without any, any other stuff. Yeah. So I will just here enter the test. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that was the quick model. Now let's move to the second top feature of SAP Signavio. Feature number two, documentation. Yeah, in SAP world, documenting things is obvious, obligatory, time consuming, and yeah, sometimes frustrating. 10 seconds ago, I showed you an example of a business process. We did it in a quick model and we are still here, but I just wanted to show you that I added quickly these first for these first two activities, some notes, some specific information, how to do things in SAP. So here, for instance, we have launch SAP Fiori Launchpad, then create maintenance request Fiori app, and the next uh, other details. Same thing I did for the second step. All right. Now we don't have to redo all these things in, I don't know, Microsoft Word or any other software which you use. We simply generate documentation directly and automatically via SAP Signavio. What we do, we select this section here, SAP Do It Workspace, and go to Process Manager. Then we select our business process. In my case, it's React to Maintenance Texas Workshop, and we go to Reporting Process Documentation. By default, we have Signavio template. If you maintain different languages, you can switch between them. For instance, we can switch to German, but of course it means you have to enter all these texts in these specific languages. Title, okay, let's keep it as it is. Mm, and basically I click the button generate documentation. It will take, I don't know, 10 seconds and we will have a PDF with all the steps and so on. I double click it and we see our documentation has been automatically generated with all the steps. So I scroll down and we have our Reactive Maintenance Texas Workshop process. We have also a link, we can click it. Mm, we have the diagram, we go below and we have all these elements, all these steps. So we have the details how to do it in SAP for the next task screen maintenance request. We also have it. For the rest, I didn't add it, that's why we have it empty, but yeah, in your case, once you maintain it, you have all the details here. Also, for instance, uh, we have all the descriptions about the user personas, about the maintenance planner, for instance, maintenance technician. It all depends how you define your layout of this PDF. So that was it for the second feature. And the last feature, simulation and optimization. I haven't had a chance yet to use it in a battlefield, but I find it really promising. Once we establish a business process and model it in Signavio, we can now do some simulations. Basically, we follow the process step by step and we will use reactive maintenance process as an example. What we got to do, we click this three dots here and click simulate BPMN diagram. And here, once I press play, we can go step by step with the process. So we have the malfunction occurrence, then we create maintenance notification. Next task is screen maintenance request. And then we have a, our gateway, so we decide whether we accept it or not. In my case, okay, I accept it. So we move further to maintenance order and so on. It's not a rocket science, you may say, but what we can additionally do, we can enrich the tasks by defining the time, the cost, etc. So let's scroll down to the scenario section. And here we have different categories. We have cost, duration, frequency, resources. Yeah, let's start with the resources. We have our four roles here. We have an employee, local control, maintenance planner, maintenance technician. And let's say per hour, okay, employee, uh, it will be maybe 20 euros 
but when it comes to local controller this guy will okay 50 is fine maintenance planner maybe 40 or maybe 65 all right per hour a maintenance technician mm, let's say 40 euros and then we go to okay frequency it's fine mm, duration in the duration let's say i want to define how much time it takes to for instance create maintenance notification mm, let's say it takes 10 minutes and i will also enter the time for other tasks okay the time has been entered and for instance we see that perform the work is like three hours of course it's hard to estimate anything uh, it depends on the maintenance work uh, i enter three hours let's say that this is the average time spent for by a technician for maintenance work yeah what else do we have here we have the close the order one minute because it's just a simple click before of course we have the analysis step and this is 20 minutes all right let's go to the costs category in my case i don't want to enter them so i just save the scenario and i will give it the name maybe reactive maintenance uh, only I don't know, only duration save okay and now we scroll up to this uh, diagram and we select one case simulation here we select the the scenario in our case is just this one and we press play so we all these things happen automatically on the right side we have the mm, the cost the duration which we we calculated of course here we have this uh, request accepted all right and we see how the cost uh, is increasing right this allows us to have the overview of costs and other kpis mm, of course we can create more scenarios uh, play with the simulations so yeah this kind of insights can lead us to changes of the process to optimization and so on. Alright folks, that was it when it comes to this video. Signavio has more features, so if you find others more interesting, share them in the comment section, check out the description of the video and see you in the next one.